damn if, if, if you could be a 100% Israelite. Okay, I don't give a damn if you King Judah himself. I don't give a damn if you King Gad, King Issachar himself. to the Most High, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash, all honor to the Most High God, who the world ain't cause God, his real name is Yahweh, and his son is Yahweh Shai, who the world ain't cause Jesus Christ, um, all honor to the others and apostles, great millstone, shall warm to the hope for elect and the elect, consistent of the 144,000. And uh, that mark, the elect. Um, Alright, since we're in Luke, um, you know, the testimony of the elect is that, you know, Part of Luke six and um and twenty, we'll see. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of Yahweh. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye who men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from the company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich for ye have received your consolation. So this is like you see who's rich right now and see who's poor right now. See who's being um, reproached right now for the Son of Man's sake right now. You know, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. You know, uh, Luke 6 and 26. Um, so in these churches and these pastors, um, they don't know about the mark 
Okay, they don't got the mark of the most high, the elect. Okay, so thing is, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. And uh, kind of just move with the spirit. It's part of um, John, 1st John and 32. Okay, that mark of the most high, the, the hidden wisdom. 1st John, um, start at 1 and 30. Okay, this is he of whom I said, after me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, and I knew him not. So, Yahusha is going to be coming back, okay, which no man's able to latch, you know, um, behold the Lamb of the Most High, and the testimony of the, the, the those same men, 144,000, that his disciples um, are going to have that, uh, have his testimony their enemy according to the for, for the sake of the gospel you know um, and I knew him not but that he should be made manifest to Israel therefore I am come baptized with water and John bear record saying I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it bowed upon him Some of the, that's part of John 132, you know, promise of the Holy Spirit. And Luke 2 and 30, uh, 49, Luke uh, 24 and 49, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And uh, so, the sons of the Most High, starting with his son, um, are gonna have this uh, that promise spoke of in Luke 24 and 49. And I knew him not, but that he should remake uh, Slakia. Slakia. And I knew him not, but that. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me upon. Whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same as he which baptizes with the um, the Ha, um, the, or the Holy Ghost of Rakhagodash. Um, and I saw and I bear record that this is the Son of the Most High. And uh, that's, that's, that's awesome, you know. You know. Because he's being risen in these uh, last days. Um, John six. Six and thirty-two, and Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of the Most High Yahweh is He which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then they said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh said unto them, I am the bread of life. So when He comes back. When he comes back, you know, he's going to come in the flesh. Because, you know, just like John says, First uh, John, the word was made flesh and he dwelt among us. Yeah, right here, 1 and 14, and the word was made flesh. And we are that ma we're that same flesh, that clay. And we have one potter. You know? So... And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that that glory is uh Luke twenty four and forty nine. And uh thing is uh, we can uh 
He's how he said, I am the bread, you know, for the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then they said unto him, Lord, forevermore, or evermore, give us this bread. And Yahweh shall have said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you, that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and then that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. The last day of this world, y'all. Because of the end of this world, present time is the immort immortality to come. And, uh, well, I gotta find that. Hang on. So, let me see if I can pull this up because that's a beautiful scripture to go with, um, Judge, uh, John 6 and, um, 40. 40. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Yahweh Shai, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? That's the testimony right there. 144. <laughs> you know, damn, that's so deep. You know, um, that's so deep. Um, so my phone is being a little crickety crackety. Let me try to get it on note. So I want to match this real quick so I don't forget. Um, see, this UFO. They 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 take our truth, which you know, there's no such thing as aliens. You know, the people aren't in the, that aren't in this truth are aliens. That's how I got this mark was from the UFOs spoke of in 1st Corinthians 15, 40, and 41 um, but uh, let me pull this up Apocrypha that's a satanic symbol the cross the cross is satanic you gotta look it up it goes back to the Egyptian and knock This is a uh, part of the mark too. So, you know. Talks about the beginning of the creation. Um, but uh the air the present years were sought out or er, or ever the inventions of them that now sin returned before they, meaning us, were sealed that have gathered face faith for a treasure. You know, um, but what I want to match up is, uh, this. Slide like it. Oh, it's a little slow. Alright, I wanted to. Alright, I found it. I wanted to match up second as it is seven and forty-three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. So I wanna match that up with uh John six and uh also well I'll start at thirty-eight. Well, I'll start at uh, for, uh well, because when he comes back, you know, that's 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 basically it. Because he's going to be revealed in the last days. The last day. For at the last, he, he shoot his son. And I'm going to bring up that. And nobody knows but who his son is but the Most High. For I came down from heaven. Came down from heaven. You know, there's a son. Matthew 24 goes into the sun shining. Lighting on from the east and shining onto the west. Wisdom's influence, you know, inspiration from the Most High. He gave me this, you know. 
Mm. A testimony on my father. Mm. And this is the father's will. You know what I mean? Mm. So let's get back. So, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will, which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should rise, raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Matching second as it is seven and you know that's that's technology right there. That's famine right there. Let's get it. Second as it is seven and forty three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come wherein corruption has passed. And nobody knows, you know, there should be rumors of wars, but it's not the end, only the most I knows. Um, so this is what kind of stuck out in this one. Whoever seeth the sun, everyone which seeth the sun, okay, and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So how many times has he been here? You know, according to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know, and is he, you know, he's coming back at the last. You know, look at even in troublesome times. You know, um, so let's, uh, sedation, sedation, there should be sedation among men. You know, people fighting. And there's a, if you look at that word, Yahoo, yeah, yeah, look at that. I mean, so I, get, I know that sounded weird, but Yahoo, um, that is uh, subliminal to the Most High's name. If you go to, uh, they put Jah, but it's really Yahawa, okay? The beginning. Let's see, uh, Psalms 78. Five, for he established a testimony in Jacob. These so-called UFOs, I don't know what you think. Psalms 104 and verse 4. Um, those are the angels of the Mosai and pointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers by those UFOs, okay? That they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born who should arise and declare them to the children that they might set their hope in the Most High Yahweh and not forget the works of Yahweh the Most High. That's the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But keep his commandments and might be as their father, a stubborn, and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with the Most High, Yahweh. Okay, and this is what I want to uh, see that Yahoo. Um, so, the letter J is the youngest letter of the alphabet, about around 600 years old. And Acts 4 and 12 tells us there's only two names given, you know, and that's the I don't know where the scripture is, but the Most High, um, all the other gods of the, all the other gods of the nations are, uh, I mean, they're, they're uh, you know, they're not like Him. He, he made the heavens and the earth, you know, and He visit, He visited the earth, you know, the river of the Most High. Well, I remember the apostles saying, um, like, how the uh, apostles were uh, made last, you know, appointed unto death. Well, Hebrews 1 and 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made 
the worlds. Mm. But John, yeah, six and forty. And at this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So um, remember what second edge it is. Uh, hang on. This is what I wanted to show. But there's another scripture too. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. So everyone was commanded to be reading this scripture because, you know, just like happened before, you know, they're going to treat him as an enemy, you know. His son's going to be, we're, wait, we're all waiting, you know, we're waiting for his son to be revealed, you know. Just like Daniel's vision, you know. It's like Exodus 7 and 28 for my son Yehawashai. You know, we know the true names, uh, Second Exodus 14 and 35, the true name shall be made manifest. Like Revelations 2 and 17, saving he that receiveth it shall be revealed with those that be with him. And they that remain shall be rejoiced within 400 years. So let's go into this, because I believe the 43, yep. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. You know, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that hath gotten the victory. You know, over the image of the beast, the mark, you know, the beast, the FRID, the philosophies of these worlds, these women. Okay. And uh, this is what's deep, you know. Um, but how can we, we over, we, you, you only overcome by believing in the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh the living God, and the, li the living, the son of the living God, you know, and you're supposed to seek his name, you know. For what profit is it unto us if there be promised us an immortal time? Whereas we have done the works that bring death. And that's what you see around us today. Um, it's like, um, I don't want to go into it, but that's what we're all doing. You know, there's unpleasant places here. You know, for we have walked in unpleasant places. It's like, this is important for for why we lived and committed inequity, we consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. And that death is Ezekiel twenty eight and verse eight. Ezekiel, uh, second Exodus fourteen and thirty five. 